First of all, um, like Tim was saying, my name is uh, Bruce Erickson. I'm a fleet services manager for the Oregon Department of Transportation. And uh, we call them hybrid plow bits. Um, they come in multiple different types. You know, some are tungsten sandwiched with um, rubber on both sides, and some are um, uh, carbide, or not carbide, but uh, ceramic, um, surrounded by uh, rubber. But a regular carbide plow bit, um, basically you all know what it is, it's fairly rigid. And uh, it's, um, the operators complain a lot of chatter inside the cab, vibration, et cetera. And then the hybrid bit, I think what really sets them apart, we use Yoma, we use Lake Effect, we use uh, Coopers, so we're all over the board. We, use, we have some of them with tungsten, some with uh, ceramics. But the whole idea behind it is they're shorter segments, and so it really forms to the road. And so our operators, um, you know, they're not non-scientifically, they're saying they cost about three times as much, but they last three times as long. There's less vibration in the cab. It's, there's less chowder on chip seal operations. And uh, they don't have to, the main thing is the safety. They don't have to replace these nearly as often. So they'll, they'll, they'll get, they're telling us they're getting one and a half to two uh, winter seasons out of them. And so one of the issues that we've had though is the last three winters we haven't had a whole lot of snow and so we identified an issue that had come up and the different characteristics between the two plows so dennis you might have to come and help me here how to get these videos going because i think you said i couldn't click on that the first the first one i'm going to show is of a regular carbide bit we took a um gopros and it it, it tells a so regular carbide bits, you can see a lot of the chatter and you can see, you might hang on here because it's a short video, but you can see the way that the snow, it's, it's not, the bits aren't very efficient. They don't cut um, very deep into the pack, but you get the good swirl effect and you get the scour effect. So it cleans the inside of the mold board as you're moving forward. So the operators really enjoy that. Um, and again, this is just the standard carbide bit. Next one. It, it'll run out here in just just a second. Okay, we can go on to the next one if you want. So the next one is a different hybrid um, plow bit. Is that a disposable camera? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so now, now we get to the hybrid plow bits, and um, you can see now how efficient they are. I'm going to use the, but you can also start to see the snow build up inside. We're not getting the scour effect, and in the next video, you're going to see exactly why. It's a lot better video, but uh, you can see that the snow starts to, instead of rolling up inside the mold board, and notice the length of the mold board here as well. It's, it's a, a full curl. And, uh, but in the one piece of the video, you might play that one one more time, because you can see that the, the, the snow isn't scouring, it's pushing the snow forward, and you get the build up right here, and here in a minute, you're actually gonna see it self-clean itself, but you're just gonna see a big chunk of snow fall, because it's not, you're not getting that scour to where it's cleaning the mold board. So you'll see it fall here in just a second. But a lot of times we've had, ours are, are um, um, tension spring rollover plows. And we get so much snow built up using some of the hybrid bits that uh, they'll actually trip when the operators have them in the upright position coming back into the shop. They'll just roll forward slowly. And then they have to go clean the snow out. Okay, so here's the last one, another hybrid bit. And now this one's, you're going to see it specifically. Now this one has a little sh shorter mold board on it. You see how it cuts and it pushes it and it's not getting that scour effect. It goes right over the top of the mold board, right into the windshield. So our operator said, this plow is defective. We don't want this plow any longer. And they started shelving these plows and went, wait a minute. We, after we um, hooked up the video and saw this, it's not the plow itself, it's the bits. They're just so efficient and they need to be run almost at a 90 degree angle. And so they're pushing the snow instead of rolling the snow inside the mold board. So now I need to go back to our, so now, and I wish I had the solution to this, but we're still playing with it. We haven't had a whole lot of snow, but we did, we did come up with an interim fix. 
and that is we uh, we built moldboard extensions. So here's the here is the plow that uh, had the shorter uh, moldboard curl, and so we built these extensions, and uh, that solved the problem for interimly. But it's still we need to figure out how to adjust the the hybrid bits. The angle to the road also, um, you know, vertical as well as horizontal. So that's what I had. I'm so, I wish we had the solution, but I think the video shows that uh, the hybrid bits are clearly, our operators love them. They're not going away from them. But uh, we did need to extend the moldboard on ours to, just to keep the snow inside the plow. We've been using hybrid plow bits for about four years, and like I say, the feedback that we're getting from the crews is they really love them. Um, it'll main, they'll still maintain the pack, but they won't cut the pack, and that's why ODOT, the other ODOT on the other coast, um, we've gone to underbelly plows, and we're starting to um, get away from motor graders quite a bit when we're cutting pack because the underbelly plows will will control the pack. It won't cut through a lot of ice, but it will control the pack and at a, a greater speed than motor graders. And so you had a second question, second part to that. Would, uh, like on that plow, if you increase your angle, so you don't build up, when you increase your angle, you know, the plow will hit something and then you've got, instead of having the plow slide over it, you'd actually stop and have damage to the truck. That's next on the list, but again, we've had some pretty mild winters in the West for the last three years, and this is as much snow as we could get. The GoPros, we could test it. We, we identified really what the issue is, that it's, it's pushing the snow instead of um, letting it roll through the, the mold board. And so that was next. So hopefully we'll get some snow and we'll be able to figure out uh, what the, the appropriate angle should be. Anybody else? All right, Tim, thank you. Stick around. <laughs>